In today's up and down economic times, it's always smart to have a rainy day fund to prepare for unexpected expenses. Colin Evans from Evans Financial Group is here to keep it real with us and tell us that we need to be ready for whatever life throws our way. Isn't that right? Right, absolutely. That's you know something a lot of people don't think about and then they end up getting kind of caught in a jam and kind of I'd say get stuck, you know, we've uh, we've kind of all heard the, you know, a little bit of that rumor. It's like the things that happen in threes, you know, always of what's going to go wrong or go because I'm I'm personally like I'm in the middle of it now. I just had a, a home air conditioning thing and you know, it's with that storm. I've got a fence ordeal going on. It's like, goodness gracious, how many uh. how many of those things do you want to take? What? keeping in mind what the rainy day funds are for and having those out for an emergency use. You know, that can be something very, very good for us and keeping that peace of mind that we want. And how many of those rainy day funds should we actually have, Colin? Are we talking like just one major one as a backup for emergencies or should we do two, three, four? Tell us, walk us through. It could be a little bit of your comfortability. Um, you know, mine is just personally is just a savings account. You know, one of the key things is truly is liquidity because you have to be able to access those funds and you don't want to have that tied up and say, well, I can't get to it until until you know a surrender or maybe I've tied it up in this entity or I put it in the market of some sorts sure. and keeping that liquidity in mind um, you know another common thing is you know a lot of financial advisors almost across the boards will all agree on at a minimum about six months worth of your income is what you should be able to put into a savings account now it's a squeeze it's something you know you have to take in stride and then keep going and keep working to get there but you got to plan for, you know, what if there's a layoff? What if uh, we like the storms that we just had recently? We got to pay maybe some insurance deductibles or out of pocket expenses for trees removed that didn't hit, you know, may not have hit the house or they're in the yard somewhere. If my folks had one in theirs, that was a $3,500 pop just like that. And, you know, that can hurt the hurt oh, the yeah. budget just a little bit. As we all agree as advisors, uh, six months is a good one. For me personally, I highly suggest if you can do it up to 12 months because we never know when economic conditions are going to change. Like when we had COVID instances and things of that nature, how long can somebody you know, afford to live and how long can somebody go for with being able to pay those house note, a car note, keep the same standard of living that's there. It, we, again, we have to keep that flip side for liquidity. You know, some of the highest recommended things that we have are going to be savings accounts at your local bank or even a money market account might have a little bit higher interest rate than your savings account it's really not about interest rates at that point and how much you're earning it's just how much that you have as this this is like a little nest egg this is a reserve so when these things arise you know i'm not stressed i'm not making irrational decisions or taking out you some know. of those bad loans. Oh my goodness gracious, rates. like those, like the payday type loan right. places and things like that. I've, need, I've seen many, many instances where, um, you know, couples or families have actually gotten caught up in that and it just becomes a fight to get out of, you know, almost from underneath that when something happened with the car, you know, the alternator went out or I needed to get the new radiator, you know, the ACs on the fritz at home or things along those nature, along those lines. How do we do that? And that's, you know, simply put, let's put this funds back into a rainy day and it can be done. You know, it's not it's not going to happen at once. You, know, you can't just say, oh, I got six months salary. Well, we'll just move, <laughs> move it from one account to another. This could be partitioned over a period of time and just something slowly that you work for. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Colin, for being here today and talking to us about the importance of a rainy day and how incredibly important it is to do now, right? So, because we should be implementing this right now. Absolutely. If we don't have one Absolutely. already. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks okay. again for having me. Absolutely.